hey guys, Army Wife here. Um, I guess we're just going to call this uh, Chit Chat with an Army Wife. Um, I, I want to do those kind of on a regular basis, just kind of, you know, update you on what's going on in my life and my preps and different things like that. Um, today, uh, this morning, I, uh, zero dark 30, I dropped Mike off. Um, he is off on mission. Um, and then after this mission, he'll come home for a couple of days and he turns around and goes back on mission again. So, uh, pretty much when he's not deployed, <laughs> he's on mission. He's one mission after the other. I mean, they're just, he's just gone a lot. And, um, and then when he's home, he leaves here at four, between four and five in the morning and, uh, he doesn't get home till seven o'clock at night. You know, the military is a lot different than it used to be. Um, it used to be when you weren't downrange and you were back, it was recovery. It was time to decompress. And they don't decompress anymore, at least not this unit doesn't. Um, they work them like dogs. Um, and it, it's, it's crazy. So anyway, um, where have I been? Um, well, I got sick. Um, after New Year's, I don't know what I had. It wasn't like a cough or congestion or like a cold or anything like that. Um, I was very, very sick. I got super dehydrated and um, anyway, I pretty much was in bed for a week. About my internet drama. Okay, I used to have, my internet was like a, um, like a wireless internet card and that wasn't working out so well because I couldn't upload videos and I was having a real hard time. So I got found a way that I could get internet without having to have a home phone. We don't have a home phone. So um, they hooked me all up and I thought it worked, but apparently I, for a few hours, I had gotten into somebody else's wireless internet. Um, I don't know how that happened. Uh, or maybe I was still using my card. I don't know. I thought I, it worked the first day, but it didn't. It, it didn't work because the wires aren't hooked up. So I plugged it into the wall and uh, no, that didn't work. It's taken a while, but the guy came out today and bless his heart, he went above and beyond for me. Um, he actually had to run new wires in my house. Um, our house actually got hit by lightning a couple of years ago and um, made a mess out of things. Um, it was pretty funny though because my daughter was sitting on the, excuse this is kind of weird, but my daughter was sitting on the toilet and we just came back from Nags Head. We were, had been on at Nags Head for eight days and um, we're just getting home. <clears throat> She's been in the car all day and she... <clears throat> comes in the house, runs upstairs, goes to the bathroom, and lightning hit our house. And it went from the upstairs hallway light bulb diagonally across the hallway, because she left the bathroom door open, and it went down the bathroom sink. And when it did that, it, oh geez, it made a big mess out of everything. So um, anyway, that was kind of scary for her. It was kind of scary for mom too, because I'm thinking, oh my god, my baby's up there. and. You know, and she's not really a baby, but she's always going to be my baby. Um, so anyway, so I have internet. Yay! I'm, you know, I like to be in the 21st century, but at least I'm climbing into the 20th century. Um, uh, I actually got criticized by somebody because of the way we live, um, that we're backwards. So, go figure. I'm backwards. Um... All right, so what's going to happen is all these videos that I've been making, you guys are going to get a whole bunch of them. And I'm sorry about that. And I will, I hope you watch them. I hope you don't just go, oh boy, it's all got all these videos from her. I hope you guys do watch them. Um, and I, they're long. I can't, I can't make a short video. I don't know how. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know how people do that. How do you guys do that? Anyway, I can't make a short video. So, um, did I just burp? Oh my god. I have no manners. Um, anyway, so, uh, 
One of the videos that's coming out is um, my take on health nut bread. I'm calling Nut and Healthy. I developed this recipe because that's my favorite bread. I happened to mention it to SoCal Preppers and he said that's his wife's favorite bread. So I did a video on that, making that bread. It's going to be a couple part video. So, but when I did the bread, I did it old school. Um, I didn't use my KitchenAid mixer, which my KitchenAid is just fine. There's nothing wrong with my KitchenAid. Uh, we didn't let all the magic smoke out. There's, there's still some magic smoke in there, so it's still working. And um, strong as ever. But no, the, um, uh, I did it old school. I, I did it all by hand. It's pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Um, and speaking of bread, um, Noreen and um, Atticus9799 and Paula Allen2045 and um, 255 Sage all have been doing sourdough. And I was so weird because I had just told one of my subscribers that I was going to um, do some videos on uh, yeast and talking about what it is, um, how it works, and how to preserve it, how long it really lasts, because, you know, people were lied to about how long food lasts. We're lied to. I had um, yeast in mylar, um, what was already vacuum packed from the, from the store, and then it was a little cube of, of yeast um, vacuum packed. Um, it was in a mylar bucket, which was also vacuum packed with uh, oxygen absorbers in it, and that got packed in 1997. In 2003, that yeast was still good. It was still good, as I made bread with it. So, food lasts longer than you think. And then there's ways that you can um, extend your yeast. Um, and I'm going to go over that. So those are some things I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of space out. Um, I don't want to do it right on the top of what they're doing. Um, I guess that's it. Oh, and you know what? Let me see if I can pan out. Okay, so I'm making chicken soup, I'm making potato soup, I'm making, I made ham stock, I've made chicken stock, I'm canning up a storm. And then um, Thursday, this, today is Tuesday, Thursday I'm canning butter and bacon. So, I've uh, never done this before, so I'm really nervous. So you guys, I'll probably, pop, you know, bring you guys in and out. Um, I'm not doing anything educational when it comes to canning. Um, Ninbound um, does good educational video. Um, so does, um, I mean, everybody's doing, doing them. So uh, they can do a much better job than me. I'm just, I'm just showing you guys, I want to help build the momentum of this community and um, share and show you um, the different things that we're doing. Like I'm thickening my potato soup with, um, uh, potato flakes and, and that video is coming out but I was watching the video um, before I uploaded it and I I looked at myself and I was like man I look like a wide load you know why do I look like such a wide load well I have my trusty and I, you know I'm I, cameras make me look really big because um, I, I only weigh 125 pounds <laughs> And I'm five, almost five seven. So um, I don't know what it is about these cameras, but but uh, anyway, I got my Kershaw um, knife, and uh, this one is the uh, Bolt Bolt two. I think it's a Bolt two. Oh hell, I don't know. But anyway, got that in my back pocket because I can't wear it in my front pocket because um, it's. Let me see. If I try to wear it in my front pocket, it is too big, and it's the small Kershaw. It's too big and I can't sit down. See, I can't. It's, it's too big. So it has to go in the back pocket. Everything goes in my back pockets, which makes me look like I have a bedonka doll. And um, I don't have a bedonka doll. But, and I'm very self-conscious about, about my weight. So, um, but what I was going to show you guys was... I look like such a wide load. Ah, oh, damn it. I messed with the I messed with the angle of the thingy and now we can't see. Because as you can see, I'm carrying my 
uh, and don't look at my stretch marks. Um, I'm carrying my Ruger SP-101, and it is my little stubby. This is the baby. This is what the inch and a half barrel, um, loaded, 357 mags, uh, Hornaday critical defense, Teflon tipped hull points, and I got a new holster, which is not broken in yet, and that's uh, another thing that is just really, really stiff still. Um, I want one of those ones that um, I want one of those ones that Prepper Country is making really bad. Um, but I don't know if I want him to make me one for this um, because this. I have such a hard time concealing. I mean, this gun is small. And so I have a really, really difficult time um, concealing. So, and I'm sorry, I'm not trying to show off my skin. I, I that's, that's kind of yucky. But anyway, I, um, I want, I, ha I, mean, I fell in love with two guns. The first one I fell in love with was in Springfield, the subcompact XDM. And, um, oh, so sweet. Oh, fell in love with it. Um, not the price tag. And then there's a Smith, um, that was be even better as far as concealability for me. Um, I was able to hide that pretty good. Hang on, I gotta, st I gotta stir my soup. Hold on. Sorry. I've just about got it to, um, the boil that I wanted at so I can start canning it. But anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, but the problem is that where the Smith and Wesson, um, well, the Springfield, put it this way, the Springfield, and this, guys, you probably already know this, but the girls don't. If you are, say you're in a gunfight, okay, and the likelihood of me being in a gunfight that's not for fun or for play, you know, is pretty slim, but I still want to be able to do it. Um, and oh, the thing about the Springfield, it's like the Glock, that um, if you, if there's a, a, a pause in, in the, um, in the firefight and you think, oh crap, um, let me, um, you know, reload while I have the time. Well, you can drop your mag and if somebody comes at you you still have one bullet in the chamber and you can still fire that one bullet in the chamber without the magazine in the gun. Now, from what I understand, the Springfield will do the same thing, but the Smith & Wesson will not. Um, the magazine has to be fully seated before um, the bullet that's in the chamber will fire. Um, I think that's a pretty important thing to have. but. The other important thing to have is to be able to have a gun that I can actually carry. I have a really, really, really hard time concealing. And everything sticks out. I mean, you saw how bad that stuck out. And that's a pretty small gun. And, you know, I have a pretty extreme cant on that also. Um, because of the way it's shaping. And I'm going to do a video on that. Um, Value Photography did one um, on um, holsters and, and different things, and um, I'm going to do one similar to that, but, you know, maybe kind of hit on us old ladies a little bit instead of, you know, the young little thing with the cute little body and the thigh holster. She is adorable, but um, I'm old. And, um, and most of you guys that watch me, you're old too. Anyway, um, or at least you're almost old. But anyway, um, I guess this is it for now. This is just, uh, just a chit chat, channel update, let you know how things are going. I have a few talking videos that I want to do, and I have a couple cooking videos. I got a whole bunch of, I guess I have a list of ideas, so we will talk later. All right.